Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're first time here, my name is Jenny and if you're back, I'm happy to see you again. Today you're getting the requested video you wanted to see, my entire perfume collection part one. This is exactly the first half of my entire collection in English and this is what I will show you today. We will go through them one by one. I will tell you some words about them, what I think of them and if you're interested, stay tuned and if you're not already subscribed, to my channel maybe you consider subscribing and becoming a member of our beautiful small perfume family here i would love to welcome you here on my channel and otherwise i think we just dive in into the first drawer down here guys and we will see what i have here the first one i have right behind here is zadik and voltaire's this is her I really adore this scent, guys. Look, half of the bottle is empty. Actually, I'm using it quite a lot for me. Absolute unisex. It's a creamy, nutty, beautiful signature scent. Like, if you like it, if you're into nutty, creamy scents, fresh showered ones, very beautiful scent. Here's a flanker of it. It's just rock. I guess it was a limited edition, guys. I think it's not produced anymore, but I love it very much. It has the DNA of This Is Her, but this one is a little bit more sexy, a little bit more deep, a little bit more round. I really like it a lot. I'm using both of them and like them. Then I have Girls Can Do Anything from Zadik and Voltaire. I'm honest with you, I got this as a present. For me, this one is kind of boring, guys. It's a nice floral kind of scent, but the longevity is not the best. And uh, it's not one of my favorites. It's in my collection. The bottle is kind of cute, but I don't really like it. The next one is a flanker of Eternity. It's Eternity Summer. Actually, this one I bought years ago. It's a light version of Eternity from Calvin Klein. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I have it. I would probably empty it. But if I'm using it, I'm layering it with my favorite. And this is Eternity from Calvin Klein. This is an oldie but goldie. I really think this scent is gorgeous. Men are loving it. It's very feminine. It's elegant. It's sexy with heliotrope and lily very beautiful scent i love it over years now and it will always stay in my collection the next one is a celebrity scent it's mariah carey's m guys and uh, my subscribers actually told me to try it out and it's really nice i was very surprised it's a marshmallow creamy floral dream um sexy in its own way the longevity is okay it's not the best but it's very okay and uh, i don't think it's boring and i don't think it smells like a celebrity scent it could be a nice designer fragrance so i really like mariah carey's m the next one is a niche fragrance and it's rose magnetic from essential perfumes guys this one just smells like a bouquet of red roses and the leaves are wet with a little bit of water this is exactly what it smells like it has a wonderful sillage a great longevity and if you're into fresh rose scents you should give this one a try i never smelled such a unique clear fresh rose it's great guys really great here I have a classic Elisab Le Parfum. This one is f woman in a bottle. It's so sexy. It's unique in its own way, I would say. Um, the men are loving it. I got so many compliments. I mean, the bottle is almost half empty. I use it really a lot and got... Um, very good it's versatile guys this goes everywhere anytime this is a signature scent and very very feminine i really like it the next one we have is daisy also fresh from the latest collection actually it's a spring collection um this one is a matcha green tea fresh scent the longevity is like mark jacobs always not the best the sillage is okay but a very very beautiful fresh summer scent guys i really like it and i will wear it this summer and um i think from the also fresh this one is the one i like the most from this collection, I also have the um, Daisy Spring, Daisy Love Spring, sorry. And um, this one is a thick perfume. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's not overpowering sweet. The longevity also is not one of the best, around four hours on my skin. But I like it for the summer, it will be very nice to wear. And if you're into thick scents, you should give it a try. The next one is Yves Saint Laurent Libre, guys, Intense. 
and the normal Libre actually it was not so much up my alley but I love the intense version the bottle is just gorgeous and this one is a little bit deeper it's a lavender scent um, but it's deeper rounder more sexy for my taste than the normal Libre so the normal Libre will not be part of my collection but the intense I really really like the next one is Coco Mademoiselle, a classic, guys. This is always <laughs> working. Men, I think, is one of the most favorite scents that men are smelling on women. This is my experience. I myself find it on me not one that I love smelling on myself the most, but it will always stay in my collection because it's a classic, has a great longevity, great performance. But as I said, it's not one of my favorite scents. Shiseido Zen, well, Shiseido Zen is kind of a Coco Mademoiselle, but in fresher. It's, um, for me, something like a spa scent uh, I'm wearing at, at home um, when I just want to relax. And it, I don't know, it relaxes me somehow. It has something that makes me calm and relaxing. Um, the longevity on this one is, let's say, around four or five hours on my skin. It's okay, but it's not a beast. Um, but I still like it, but I don't wear it very often. This is Shiseido Zen. Here in front, we have Nazomato Blamage, guys. This is an absolute unisex scent. It smells woody, fresh, very, very unique and wonderful scent. Monster Sillage, great longevity. And if you're into woody, fresh scents, try it out. It's really, really underrated. This is my opinion. And another one of Nasomato Narcotic Venus, or now it's called Narcotic V. This is a floral splash, guys. This is sexy. This is a tuberose, very, very floral. This is only something for floral lovers, but it has a very sexy undertone. The men are loving it. I got lots of compliments and mostly from men. Um, my husband also adores it on me. It lasts the whole day and has a really room-filling sillage. If you're into very floral perfume, perfumes give this one a try for a floral perfume very very sexy next one is zarko perfume the muse guys this one is just um washing powder in a bottle this is how it smells it's really but in a very clean way it's not it's a molecule perfume actually but this one is really a beast if you know barredos blanche this is something inside in this kind of family but this one is more beastie the longevity is the whole day guys i was really surprised how long it's on my skin and i can smell it this is what i would have um expected from the house of barredo but zaco perfume nailed it really this is just gorgeous if you're into this kind of fresh washed washing powder scents give this one a try gorgeous gorgeous perfume the next one is gabrielle chanel essence and this one guys i own the gabrielle the normal one and i had the problem the longevity was not so good on my skin but i liked very much the scent so what i did i give this one a try and this one finally i like a lot the longevity is very good on my skin i'm getting my seven hours out of it when i'm over spraying it and i think here um, Chanel made a good job. They made it a little bit modern. Okay. All the other Chanel scents, I have sometimes the problems that they are a little bit too classic for me. The Gabrielle is just up my alley and the Gabrielle essence is my scent. I love it. It will always stay in my collection. Very, very beautiful scent. So now we move to the right and we have here the next shelf. I hope it will be not too dark, guys. Right there in the back, you see I have my Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is my second and last celebrity scent that I have in my collection. But this one I really adore, guys. A coconut, creamy, happy scent. For me, it doesn't smell at all like a celebrity scent. I like it a lot, use it a lot. And I don't know, I just like it. The next one I have back there is actually called P1 Careful Hot. This one is a, yeah, something like nutty, creamy kind of scent. Um, very beautiful. The longevity is not the best, but I still like it. I got it as a present and uh, sometimes when I feel like I'm using it. Very nice milky kind of scent. 
The next one behind is Gucci Rush. Guys, this is really 90s, as plasticky, as um, red as this bottle is. This is how the scent is. It's synthetic. It's nothing real. It's smelling 90s, but I love it. I was using it years ago. It will always stay in my collection. I'm always rebuying this one. And when I feel like bringing the 90s back, I'm wearing Gucci Rush. I really like it. And then I have here Mont Gualin from Gualin. Uh, even my name is engraved in this one, guys. But I have to be honest with you, it's not my scent. It's developing on my skin, not as it's supposed to develop somehow. Um, we are not friends. I'm having it in my collection. Um, it was a present, but it's never going to be one of my favorite scents. And I'm never, ever using it. Mont Gualin, I know hundreds and millions of women are swearing on it, but it's not for me. Then we have Linter D from Givenchy, um, the Parfum, the Eau de Parfum edition. This was love at first sniff, guys. I adore this scent. It's sexy. It's feminine. This is signature scent. If you're into tuberose and um, jasmine scents, it's nothing natural. It's quite heavy. It's a room filler. It's, um, yeah. But for me, beautiful scent. I really adore it. I adore it so much that I even have the Intense version. And this one is the Sexy Sister. If I really want to um, be sexy, feminine and sophisticated, put together and just blow them all away, I'm using Linter D the Intense version. Very beautiful scent, guys. So right in front of it, I have my Armani C's. I have the normal EDP version, I have the C Passione, and I have the C Fiori. Now, from the and back there, I actually have a body lotion of the C Passione. So, um, from those three, uh, my most favorite is um, the C Fiori. This is the most favorite one. This is a creamy marshmallow dream. It's youthful, joyful, playful, very, very beautiful, feminine um, scent, and... Uh, also signature scent like very beautiful if you like this kind of scents the si passione is a sexy sister um very yeah some people are smelling hairspray i don't get this it's synthetic it's nothing natural but beautiful with the um amani c dna very beautiful scent i like it still and the armani c my second favorite the eau de parfum version i love it it's a classic guys i know lots of people are hating it i love it yes it's it's really shouting here i am but sometimes i'm in that mood and i really really like it so here we are coming to my Twilly Dermes. It's the same scent, guys. Just this one is a small bottle. And here I have my big one. I'm trying to finish the small one so I can use this one. This is for me, guys, totally underrated. This one is a classic. It's elegant. It's feminine. It's a signature scent. This is really Hermes at its best for me. It's a ginger perfume. And if you're into this, give it a try. It's beautiful. The longevity is all day on my skin. Very good perfume performance and i really think there's nothing more classic than this one one of my favorites twilly dermes here in front we have lalik satin lalik satin is silk in a bottle for me guys this one really performs on your skin as if you're putting silk on it the performance is not the best the longevity is around four hours on my skin then i have to respray but it gives me this silky feeling very feminine powdery a little bit creamy beautiful beautiful scent lalik satin and here i have my lalik soleil this is for me sun and um, joy in a bottle this scent makes me happy it has coffee inside it's just a very playful scent for me it's not an everyday scent it's also not a signature scent like but when i feel like and i'm in the mood and i want to have a little bit sunshine in my life I'm taking Lalique Soleil. The longevity is not the best. Maximum six hours, more five hours on my skin and then I'm respraying it. But still it gives me the happiness. So I'm using it when I feel like. Next to it is Mikalev Ilangen Gold. Guys, I love the perfumes of Mikalev. I'm a big fan. This one is coconutty, creamy, elegant. Um, 
female in a bottle. It's beautiful, a compliment getter. Almost everybody likes it. It has something from Kashmir of Chopard, but this one is much more elegant, sophisticated, very good longevity, very good performance. I really adore it. This could be a signature scent. If I would have one, this could be it. Here in front, we have the Ananda, and I already said it many times, guys. For me, this is a bright perfume. This is how a bright should smell. It's a floral, fruity, very beautiful scent, guys. I adore it. This is my second bottle. I had a small one before I used it all, and this is my second one, and I have so many perfumes. I mean, if I really manage to empty a bottle, this means a lot. Very good performance, lasts all day on my skin and it's very, very innocent. It's innocent, that's why I see a bright, I see white color. And if you're into floral fruities, guys, try it out, it's gorgeous. Next to it is Mon Parfum from Mikalev. Here I have a collector's edition bottle, very beautiful bottle with the crystals. This is something like um, Chanel, but from Mikalev. This is elegant, this is sophisticated. This is a woman put together she, who knows what she wants. This is not a young girl. This is something for grown-ups. This is really for a woman, not for a girl. I cannot see this one on a girl for me it's too grown up for a girl but very beautiful scent um signature scent like for sure if you're into mature scent give this one a try very very beautiful and i have the flanker of it and this is the mon parfum pearl and the mon parfum pearl is has a dna of the mon parfum but this one is powdery, guys. This one is really in a beautiful way, very powdery. Um, also very grown up, nothing for a young girl, um, but a beautiful scent. I love powdery scents and this one is really gorgeous. And the last one in the row is Mikalev Watch, guys. For me, the tuberose, um, yeah, tuberose in a bottle. This is a real tuberose, chewing gum-like, but in a very beautiful way. It melts into your skin, and I adore tuberose. So this one is really one of my top, top favorite scents from the house of Mikalev. And uh, if you're into tuberose, you have to try this. The performance of all of the Mikalevs, guys, are great. I never have any issues with longevity or uh, sillage, everything thing is 10 out of 10. So these are my Mikalevs. Now we move on a little bit higher and here we have in the background my diptychs guys and here is Dosson the EDP version. I reviewed it for you. For me this is one of the most beautiful and unique scents I ever tried. Um, very difficult to describe. It's a floral, creamy scent, guys, but one of a kind. This one, I think you just need to try. There's not much to say about it. Then we have Olin, the jasmine bomb. This is really a garden of jasmine trees. Um, this you have to handle. You really have to like jasmine to like this scent. This is the EDT version, and I have a limited edition bottle. That's why it's lilac. Usually it's also a see-through bottle, like let's say this one. Excuse me, guys, I almost <laughs> lost my phone. And here we have Eau de Sens, also the EDT version. This is an orange mandarin summer scent. Here I see a holiday somewhere in Greek island, you know, something like that. Beautiful summer scent, guys. And if you're into mandarin and orange, this one is for you. Great performance. Very long time um, on my skin. Very good sillage. This one actually is almost all day for an EDT very very good performance in the back is philosikos the edt version guys and this is one of the best fig fragrances i ever tried in my life if you're into fig fragrances you need to try this i prefer the edt version from the edp version because this one is a little bit more crisp in my eyes and i prefer it the EDP version is a little bit creamier, so probably you need to try both to decide which one is for you, but they're both gorgeous. Here I have the Dosson that I just showed you before and the EDT version. I like it so much that I have both versions and actually the EDT is my number one. I adore it. The longevity is as long as the EDP version, but the scent of the EDT, I really prefer. I love it, guys. And one of the most unique scents I have in my collection is Fleur de Peau. This one is just 
such a scent, guys, it's not to describe. It's vintage like, it's powdery, like a vintage powder, um, something like, yeah, I don't know, very, very unique scent. And this is nothing for a blind buy. You really need to try this. It smells a little bit like a pencil when you sharpen a pencil and something like a vintage powdery puff and a sharpened pencil. I know it sounds terrible, but it's gorgeous. It won lots of awards, guys. It's one of a kind. It's one of the most unique scents that I have. And on the skin, it discover after a time, just gorgeous, creamy. I love it. It melts into your skin. Here I have Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. It's just a small and a big bottle. They discontinued it, guys. I couldn't be... Uh, more angry because I adore this scent. It's one of my favorite perfumes. I will definitely get some backups because as I said, it's discontinued and it's a beautiful rose fresh cannabis scent. I adore it. The longevity is out of this world, 24 hours on my skin for summer, for hot days. I adore it. It's one of my favorites. Here we have Mugler Aura. This is a green, also very synthetic beast guys um sometimes i'm getting a headache from it um i have it in my collection it will stay because of its uniqueness but i have my problems with it and i think it's not for everybody this you need really to try then an oldie but goldie yop Bain, guys this perfume is so old and i'm rebuying it all the time I was wearing it when I was a teenager already. This is something like fresh washed, but very vintage 90s kind of vibe. But I love it. It will always be in my collection. Then Mugler's Alien, guys. This was my signature scent for years and years when I was young. Um, I'm not using it anymore today, but I'm always rebuying it. And it will stay in my collection because I have lots of emotional memories with it. And I still think before it was reformulated, it was my alien. Now that it's reformulated, it became something like my alien, but I'm not wearing it. But I have emotional feelings for it. And right here in front, we have Lorenzo Villoresi Tender Nash. Guys, this is one of the best powdery scents I ever tried. I have the EDT and it lasts the whole day and longer. I never experienced something like that with the EDT version. And if you're into powdery scents, you need to try this. One of the best I have in my whole collection. Here I have Manège Rouge from Al Haramein. This is kind of a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, but I will be honest with you guys. I have my Baccarat Rouge 540s and I love them. And if I feel like wearing such a scent, I will not grab to this one. I will wear my Baccarat Rouge. So this one will probably go to my little daughter. She likes it and she will probably have fun with it. Um, for me, it's it's just not for me because I have the Baccarat Rouge. But if you're looking for a good dupe, this one is definitely one. Here we have um, Xerjov's Lira from the Casa Morati collection. Guys, this is Christmas for me in a bottle. This is a beautiful gourmand fragrance. This one smells like lemon cake with uh, caramel and vanilla ice cream um, it's with cinnamon, a little bit of licorice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Longevity for me all day. I really adore it. It's a unique gourmand. If you're into gourmand scents and you like something like lemon cake and what I told you, try this one out. It's gorgeous. Here we have the Rochard Bisons. Guys, this is the new edition that they um, brought out. I really like it. It has a very good performance. It's powdery, a little bit soapy, beautiful scent, and the bottle is everything for me. I really love it. So now we move on to the next one. And here we have in the background Cure Ganache from Christian Dior from the private collection. Guys, this one is for me a masterpiece, okay? This one smells like a leathery, um, small... Um, bag that you take to the opera and inside maybe you have a lipstick, a little powder. It's vintagey. It's very beautiful. It's elegant. It's feminine, but still it's unisex um, and leaning a little bit more feminine for my taste. And Christian Dior private collection. I don't have to talk about the performance. It's great. Like all of the perfumes, this one is just so underrated, guys. If you're into the notes, try this one out. It's gorgeous. 
here right next to it, I have the most sexy designer perfume that I know. Tom Ford's Black Orchid, the EDP version. For me, this one is just sex in a bottle. Lasts up to eight hours on my skin that I'm respraying it, but I think is the most sexy scent that I have. My husband is using it as well. We love it both, wearing it both absolutely unisex. On my husband, it smells also great. Here I have Guana Lat Le Matière, the latest, um, the, actually the newest perfume they brought out is Iri Torrefié. Guys, it's a great iris um, powder, creamy dream okay i will make a review i think i didn't review this yet in english i will definitely review the ones that i didn't review and i will tell you more about it but the performance is great the scent is great it's vintagey kind of with the irish note but i really adore it great great perfume here one of my absolute favorites it's memo the marfa this is just, I will tell you, the bottle and the perfume, they somehow don't fit with each other. I, I, that's my opinion. I ordered that completely blind and I had an idea how it will smell. But what I got, it was totally different. So I believe the bottle and the, what, the juice inside, it doesn't fit somehow. But it's one of my top 10 for life, guys. I will review this perfume. I will talk more about it, but it's so worth the hype. Then we have Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice number three. This is for me a Kiwi Melon Splash for the summer. The longevity is not good on this one, but I think it's a beautiful scent for the summer, for the beach. I'm respraying it all the time and it's actually my second bottle. I emptied the whole one. I really enjoy this one. It's very playful, youthful, fruity, 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 but very beautiful scent for my taste. Then we have Cristal Noir, the EDP version from Versace. Guys, this one is for me something like gothic, cold vibe, arrogant, uh, sophisticated, in your face, but in a very fresh way. Um, beautiful, beautiful. One of my top designer fragrances, guys. I also think it's very underrated. I really adore it. Then we have Kilian Kissing. Um, this one is a nice floral scent. The longevity is not the best. Jasmine, um, lots of jasmine inside. If you're into jasmine, you should give this one a try. But it's not one of the best perfumes in the world, guys. It's okay. I have it in my collection, but it's not the best. Here we have Valentino Bon and Roma. Actually, guys, this, I'm honest, I don't like it at all. I have it in my collection. The bottle is kind of cute, but the scent is absolutely not mine. I never use that one. Then we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. This is a coconutty, um, kind of very synthetic, creamy scent. I have my problems with it. I'm not sure that it will stay in my collection. Um, it was a blind buy, um, but I don't know. I have to see. It's quite new to my collection, but I'm thinking to get rid of it. I'm still thinking. Well, let's see how it will go. Then we have Dior Addict, guys. For me, the mother of sexy oriental fragrances. I still adore it. Over years, I emptied lots of bottles of this one. Um, sexy, feminine, classic, elegant. This will go always. This will be uh, always on trend. This will never go out of style. For me, an absolutely winner, Dior Addict. And then right in front of it, Hypnotic Poison, the EDT version. This is for me also a very sexy oriental. This is something like the alien family of Mugler. This will never come out of fashion. This is just Dior at its best, sexy, deep, dark, great, great perfume, guys. Then we have Poison Girl, the EDT version. This one I also didn't review yet. I will make a review. It's quite new to my collection and I will tell you what I think about it. But I can tell you this much. I really like it. It's a beautiful scent. Then the biggest disappointment from Dior, Dior Joy, guys, I really don't like it at all. For me, the scent is boring. The longevity is not good. Actually, it doesn't exist almost on my skin. And uh, the bottle is cute. It was a present, so it's still here. But I don't like the scent. Dior Joy.
Then one of my absolute favorites, guys, Vicolo Fiori of Etro. I told you lots of times about it. This is for me, summer sun tan lotion in a bottle, very floral, beautiful scent all year round. And this is something like a signature scent. If you like the scent, you can rock this even in winter. This is the EDP version. I really adore it. It's a niche fragrance. It's an Italian fragrance. I love it. Here right in front, we have Linston Magique from Guala, guys, and I prefer the Linston Magique from the normal Linston because I believe this one is more powdery and more up my alley. Very good performance, very good longevity. I really, really like it. If you're into powdery scents, you need to try this. Then My Way from Giorgio Armani. I reviewed this one for you guys. I adore it. Actually, it took a little bit the place of my Linter D Eau de Parfum um, because this one for me is more versatile. This goes anywhere, anytime. Um, I'm always elegant, feminine. Um, everybody loves that. I got so many compliments. Actually, anybody who comes here and tries the scent, everybody's buying it. Um, it's a jasmine tuberose, beautiful, floral, light, but still present scent for me. Really, really nice. Then we have Miss Dior, absolute blooming, guys. This is a flanker of Miss Dior. I didn't review that one and I will review this one. I really prefer the absolute blooming from all of the others together with my rose and roses. And this is, I think, quite a new one to the Miss Dior flankers. I will make you a review next to each other. Actually, Rose and Roses, the name for me doesn't fit because I don't smell so much roses inside here, but more to this when I will review them. So then we come to the last up here and we have Maison Francis Cordijan's Grand Soir, guys. This scent for the big evening for me, it's so beautiful, so great. I adore it. It's an amber scent, but it's so classic, absolutely unisex, sexy, deep, sweet, just like Francis Cordijan knows his job. It's gorgeous. Then we have my Baccarat Rouge 540, the extra version, beautiful, beautiful orangey. I don't need to talk more about it. Everybody knows it. I reviewed it a thousand times. I told you how much I adore it together with my EDP version, guys, these two perfumes are my perfumes for life, okay? There is nothing never going to take their places. Um, I love other scents as well, but these two are on place one. Next to it, I have, sorry guys, for the camera shaking, um, the body oil and the hair mist. Do you need those, guys? I would say no. And when they will be empty, I will not be rebuying them. I will buy the body lotion or the body cream. I don't know how it's called, really, um, of the Baccarat Rouge 540, because I think it's just doing a better job than these two things. You don't really need them. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing them, I don't recommend you neither. Not the one and not the other. They don't really worth it. So here we come to Parfum de Marly. This is my Delina, the normal one, my love-hate relationship with her. I love her, but sometimes I hate her. Sometimes she's too heavy for me. Um, still a great, great feminine scent, guys. Um, rhubarb with flowers. I don't need to talk much. You know the scent. Then Delina exclusive, the sexier sister, powdery with incense, great scent. And this is my number one. I adore it. The longevity on all of the Delinas actually are very, very good, guys. I don't have no issues with the longevity or performance. Here I have my new one, the Delina La Rosé. Um, I love it. I really do love it. I know the opinions are not all so perfect about her, but I really, in the beginning, I wasn't so sure, but now I really say when the weather is becoming warmer, I really start loving it. It's a very nice addiction, addition to my um, collection, and I believe for the summer, I will be rocking that a lot. And the longevity, guys, is as good as the, the Lina normal one. I can tell you this for sure. It's not a lighter version. Definitely not. Other story with Cassili. I like it. It's a peachy apricot, creamy kind of tropical smell. But guys, the longevity here is not good on my skin. I'm layering it with the Delina body cream together. And then somehow I can manage to get a longer, uh, a better longevity. But um, I wish this could last a bit longer. At least on my skin, the performance is not so good. But the scent I adore. And then we have the last row up there, guys. And we have my Narciso Rodriguez for her, the EDT version. 
two times. This is also the EDT, but this one is the Generous Spray Edition. And here we have Fleur Mask and the Rouge. All of the three are the Generous Spray Edition. This is kind of another sprayer. Um, it doesn't spray on spots. It sprays kind of like a fog. But to be honest, guys, I prefer the normal sprayers. I will use them now that I have them. But uh, in the future, I will be buying the normal ones as this one. Um, from all of them, my favorite is the EDT version, the For Her. And uh, then I have here the Ombre, the newest one, the Poudre and Narciso from Narciso. And actually from those three, I love Narciso from Narciso and the Poudre. These are my two favorite ones. The Ombre is a very nice one. It's a little bit different from the others. It has frangipani, so it's quite beautiful. It's something else from Narciso Rodriguez. And uh, the only thing, guys, the longevity is not the best on my skin. Actually, the best longevity has definitely the Narciso Poudre and the um, for her, the Eau de Toilette. So, guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed a little bit my collection and it was a little bit fun for you. And yeah, this was it. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. And maybe you write me in the comments what will be your favorite scent from my collection. I would love to read it and otherwise hope to see you soon. Bye bye.